Hello guys and uh, today we'll be uh, checking how to have the dropship feature for your Magento 2 platform based web stores uh, there. So basically uh, the Magento 2 dropship plugin that we have provides the multi-source inventory concept which lets the multi-source sellers manage their multiple warehouse inventory very conveniently and uh, on the customer front the customer can place the orders at the storefront and the shipping of the ordered product is done from the nearest warehouse instead of the store itself apart from that the admin can create multiple warehouses with products and their respective quantities which is uh, basically additional apart from the online store inventory so today i'll be showing you the workflow at the customer's front and then we'll see how the admin can create the uh, multiple uh, how would we say as the warehouses from the back end and how you can assign the managers to it uh, how the shipping can be set for each of those uh, created warehouses and apart from that this plugin also allows you to import the products from aliexpress into your magento 2 web store and you can allow uh, the customers to place the orders for those products and then the admin can complete it by navigating to the aliexpress itself so before proceeding please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that i'm at the checkout page and i've added one of the products that's the solid garden simulation butterfly and uh, under the shipping methods you can see that we have the dropship shipping method here's the product and its uh, quantity and we have two different uh, uh, what we say as the shipping method one is the best way and the free one so uh, this particular product is available in the nearest warehouse so uh, as soon as I've added it uh, to the cart and made a checkout I've been provided with these two shipping methods according to the products uh, warehouse that is uh, very near to the customer now uh, the warehouse uh, assignment can also be manual or automatic so we'll see that uh, in a while from the admin backend panel itself so let me proceed with and place the order using the dropship uh, system itself kindly note that uh, the shipping methods uh, that are available to the customer are according to the allowed shipping methods for the warehouses so according to the chosen uh, or the available warehouse whatever shipping methods are available that would be displayed to the customer and now let's proceed further and here under the shipping method you can see that we have chosen the drop shipping one and it's the best way of the table rate and let's place the order uh, now so the order has been placed let's check the order history uh, to see what uh, shipping method uh, the customer has selected so here's the shipping handling for ten dollars and the shipping method is dropship and the method name is uh, best way or the table rate itself now uh, let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let me explain you or give you an overview of how the admin can create the warehouses and the rest of the things that come under that so for that let's hop on to the admin backend panel now so i'll be logging into my backend panel by entering my username and the password so uh, after the successful installation of the Magento 2 dropship plugin you'll have the dropship manager on the side panel here and under that you'll have all of these options like creation of the, the dashboard uh, creation of the warehouses management of the warehouses warehouse auto management shipping rules dropship uh, product profile uh, dropship data flow uh, category mapping price rules aliexpress products and the aliexpress orders so first of all let's go to the uh, warehouse order manager and let's check the order number 65 that we've just placed and uh, here we have two types uh, one is the automatic assignment of uh, the uh, warehouse and the other one is the manual one so here you can see that the order number 65 has been assigned and if i tap on that you can see that it's been uh, assigned to the warehouse that's the us warehouse and the available quantity right now is 298 uh, it's also available here at Delhi and Canada as well, but the nearest one to the customer is US. So the US warehouse has been used uh, there. So if uh, it was an, an assigned one, then we could have assigned a, a warehouse manually. So for example, if I tap here on the order 63, unassigned, this product is uh, available at 3, 
different places so now i can choose from where uh, i want to assign or uh, process the shipping of the uh, product to the customer so if i type here in the assign to warehouse you can see that the uh, order number 63 would now be set as assigned so the assigned is an automatic thing and you can see that the order has been assigned to the warehouse successfully and uh, the page would refresh and now the order number 63 here you can see that it's assigned if i tap on that this is the selected one that they have assigned uh, this uh, order to the respective warehouse so we can also uh, check this order by tapping here in the view link under the actions column and that would bring up the complete details of the respective order so here are the details the shipping and handling has a drop ship uh, best way uh, been chosen and ten dollars as the shipping price now kindly uh, note that uh, after the assignment of the uh, orders to the uh, respective warehouse be it in, uh, in the case of automatic or uh, manual what happens is that uh, the uh, basically the order products are basically shipped from the respective warehouses so the warehouse manager for that uh, particular uh, warehouse has to log in and from there he can process the respective orders so uh, right now you can see that the status uh, for the order number 65 which has been assigned uh, to the us warehouse is pending so the admin just needs to approve this so from the drop down we'll choose approve we'll approve it and uh, it would uh, the status would change uh, to uh, processing and then this would uh, this order would be visible to the uh, warehouse manager for the respective warehouse itself so you can see that status right now is uh, processing now uh, here's the warehouse manager so i'll be logging into the warehouse manager warehouse one and uh, i'll just tap here on the sign in button so the url would be same as of the admin now here the uh, dropship manager has warehouse dashboard warehouse auto manager and the manage shipping rule so let's go to the warehouse auto manager and now we can see that the order number 65 would be visible to this particular warehouse manager as you can see here and from here uh, he can tap on the create link under the actions column and he can generate the shipment for this particular order by adding uh, by selecting the uh, particular uh, what we say as the carrier uh, entering the uh, what we say as the tracking number and uh, he can also email the copy of the shipment there to the customer and tap here on the submit shipment uh, button that we can see so the order comes to this uh, uh, warehouse the warehouse manager goes and uh, creates the shipment for the order now if i go back to my warehouse order manager and here's the complete list of orders uh, that have been placed for this particular uh, warehouse and now you can see that the status is complete right now for this particular order so uh, that's how uh, the customers can place the orders and then the admin can approve the order and then it's visible for the respective warehouse and then the warehouse manager uh, creates the shipment to complete the order itself now let's go back to the admin backend panel so i've already told you about the unassigned if no uh, warehouse has been assigned then uh, you can tap here and choose the respective warehouse and then tap here on the assign to the warehouse uh, button and uh, the chosen one would be assigned to that particular order so this is for the order number 63 i've assigned it uh, uh, the uh, respective warehouse so if i now go ahead and uh, 63 let me approve it okay and now let's hop on to the warehouse manager for the us warehouse and let me refresh the page once so we'll see this order as well being displayed here that was initially not assigned to anyone but now it has been assigned to this one so here's the order number 623 now assigned to the us warehouse so all in all the nearest warehouse is all, all always used to uh, ship the products to the customer and it's also depends upon the customer's address uh, depending upon the address and the nearest one uh, the nearest warehouse is used for shipping the shipments there to the customer's place now under the dropship manager uh, we have just seen the order manager uh, the warehouse dashboard gives a complete uh, uh, overview to the uh, to the admin about his all warehouses that he has 
and you can check the details as well now to create a new warehouse just tap on the warehouse manager that brings in the complete list of warehouses uh, that you have created uh, you can see the, the status as active or deactive you can edit any of the created ones to create a new one just tap here in the add new warehouse button that brings up the section wherein you can set up the warehouse info like the username uh, the first name last name email warehouse title its description uh, you'll have to enter a location and uh, that would automatically be entered there your latitude longitude and the allowed shipping methods can be chosen for a particular warehouse that you're going to create thereafter you'll have to tap on the save warehouse now let me give you an example by editing one of the warehouses here uh, that way you'll be able to see the data within the same so I have tapped here on the edit one for the US warehouse here is the warehouse one uh, that we were just using here's the email the details all right now after you save the warehouse you when you uh, you have to tap on the save and continue edit then thereafter you'll have uh, these options as well apart from the this one the warehouse info that was initially there so after setting up the basic info save and continue edit, you'll have these ones as well so under the upload one you can upload the uh, product files or and the product image files you can uh, basically uh, download the samples if a SKU doesn't exist and simply if the SKU exists you can choose any of the CSV XML or XLS files to upload your products for this particular warehouse you can do a field mapping as well uh, and uh, you can create a data flow uh, profile first and then you can choose the profiles there you can add a field mapping like in the data database values what are there and within the csv xml file or xls file what are the uh, uh, what are the uh, fields there for example if i choose uh, for example description maybe in the file it's not description i set it as desc so that's how we can do a field mapping you can do multiple field mappings as well uh, under the price rules uh, you can uh, basically set the price rules initially so it depends upon uh, the uh, warehouse manager as well so from here you can create the uh, what we say as the uh, price rules price rules can be uh, created and they are visible here so you can do a plus or in a fixed percentage uh, value as well then uh, you can also choose uh, to uh, run a profile and uh, that would uh, allow you to uh, basically uh, what we say is the if there is the price that is greater than the product price then you can skip the products as well and you can create the products there now under the edit products here you can choose the products for this uh, particular warehouse uh, so you have uh, whatever products you have edited they would, those would be visible here under the orders you'll find all of the orders uh, that have been placed for uh, this uh, warehouse so whichever orders have been assigned to this those orders would be visible here so here's our order number 65 63 and here's the dashboard uh, itself so that was the uh, uh, the uh, the visualization from the admins in when he creates a warehouse and checks the details of the warehouse itself so uh, after the warehouse manager we had warehouse auto manager we've seen that let's see the manage shipping rule now and the rest of the things as well so under the manage shipping rules here uh, you can add new multiple shipping rules as per your own requirements and then you can assign the shipping rules uh, to the different uh, warehouses that you have you can delete any of the created ones by choosing the delete option to add a new one just tap here on the add new shipping rules button so you can download a sample file first and then yeah you can set the rules say upload it up after uploading choose the warehouse to which you want to assign this shipping rule save that up and that would uh, basically uh, set uh, the uh, respective shipping rule to the respective chosen warehouse itself so give, let me give you an uh, just about what different uh, column values are there for the uh, shipping rule import so i'm just opening that up so here's the uh, csv file having the com country code zip from zip to values the price and the weight from and the weight to value so these needs to be filled up as per your requirement and then you'll have to upload it back 
from here and select the warehouse tap save and the shipping rule will be inputted to into that particular warehouse itself so uh, that was about the manage uh, shipping rule and uh, let's go to the category mapping for the other ones you can check the user guide for a better understanding there and uh, for the early like early express products and orders you can check the user guide for a better understanding as well so for now i'll just show you the rest that's the price rules and uh, the category mapping so let me open them up into different windows here so here on the manage category mapping you can manage the category mapping so uh, you can map uh, the categories of the aliexpress with your store categories so for example we have done it for the fitness with the uh, store uh, here as the decors electronic gadgets with the electronics clothes with the clothing and uh, to do a new mapping just tap here on the map new category you can also edit any of the already uh, mapped categories so here you need to enter the mapped category name uh, fitness for example uh, the attribute set needs to be chosen and uh, we can assign it to any of the categories within our store tap here in the save button and the mapping is done successfully and would then be listed here so here's the fitness and uh, with the decors there so that's how you can do the category mapping and regarding the price rules you can see that we have the minimum maximum price here uh, and uh, the rest of the details as well from the drop down you can delete any of the created price rules to add a new one just tap here in the add new price rule button that brings up the section to set up the price rule so you can set up the minimum price as uh, for example 99 maximum as 199 and if any of the orders is between that we will set the amount to 20 if fixed that's what that would be 20 dollars otherwise percentage would be 20 percent of the product price would be added then tap here in the save button and the price rule will be created all right it's the number second 99 199 you can edit any of the ones by tapping in the edit link change the values or change the percentage price type and tap on the save button the price rule is uh, saved now we can see 99 199 min price maximum price the price that would be increased price type is fixed and that's it so uh, so that was much about the Magento 2 dropship uh, plugin and I hope you, uh, you got a, a bit of a uh, little bit of uh, understanding there of the different options that are available there at the back end and how the customers can select the dropshipping methods so uh, for more details and for a uh, deeper uh, understanding you can check the user guide and the live demo that I've attached within the description uh, of this particular video apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead